What's up, party people? My name is Vegan Chris. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, of course. Stay up to date with all my videos. And uh, today we're going to talk about diabetes, okay? Unfortunately, over the weekend, a friend of, well, a close personal relative of mine had a stroke. And so I was in the hospital for a visit, and some other people came by, and, um, excuse me, this one person was talking about, um, I guess they came in to, to give him insulin, and so one of the person, one of the people that was visiting was talking about the diabetes and everything like that, and, and I was saying how, you know, this person that was in the hospital needs to go on a vegan diet, and uh, they asked me what I eat as a vegan, and as soon as I mentioned potatoes, you know, they say, oh, well, the carbohydrates, I can't eat the carbohydrates because, you know, it's going to turn it into sugar, and it's going to raise the blood sugar, and you know that's true but they, they don't then they don't understand the reason why that's true the, the reason why that's true is because of the saturated fat that this person who's in the hospital this person that di with diabetes has um that saturated fat comes from animal fats comes from eating animals so the reason that when a person a, a diabetic eats carbohydrates and that raises their blood sugars because, yes, the body breaks down those carbohydrates into sugar. But that sugar is supposed to go into your cells. And it can't go into your cells if they're saturated with saturated fat. So you need to get rid of that saturated fat so that that glucose that your body needs to run. That's, what, that's the fuel that your body uses to run. Um, so that that glucose can get in the cell and doesn't stay in the blood. It only stays in the blood because it can't get in the cells of your muscles where it's supposed to do its work because it's, it's full of fat. So you got to get rid of the saturated fat. You got to get rid of the meat and dairy. And the, the ironic thing about it is they brought this uh, the uh, patient some dinner. And guess what was for dinner? Macaroni and cheese. More cholesterol. More saturated fat. Chocolate pudding more cholesterol, more saturated fat, milk, cow's milk. And then everybody's sitting around talking about what's going on in the family because this has been happening in the family so much. There's been so many deaths in the family in the past couple years, in the past year even. And they're saying, what's going on? What's going on? And it's no mystery. It's no mystery what's going on. It's our nutrition. We eat indiscriminately. That's the problem. And we're eating dead animals. That's the problem. And we're eating the byproducts of animals. That's the problem. That's what's going on. That's what you need to understand. And I tried to express this in the hospital room. But, you know, I, what you're doing is you're challenging the way that people have eaten their entire lives. And I didn't want to go into it too much at that point, you know, because we're there for a visit and I didn't want to turn it into a, an, you know, an educational thing. So um, I said a few words, but I didn't get too into it. But you know what? That's why I make these videos. OK, and I'll direct people to these videos and to my website and say, hey, here's the information. If you want it, go get it. I, as you can see, I love to read. OK, this is the most comprehensive study of nutrition ever done in history. OK, so. These are the kinds of places we need to get this information from as opposed to the mainstream media, which is fueled and supported by the very industry that provides you with the food that is making you sick. So, of course, they're going to fund studies that say their food is healthy when all you have to do is look around your own family. I'm sure in your own family you've seen these debilitating diseases like diabetes and strokes and heart attacks and cancer. I'm sure you have it in your family, too especially if you're black, because it affects us a lot more than other ethnicities. So um, that's the deal with diabetes, guys. Don't think that carbohydrates are the bad guy. Don't think insulin is the, is the bad guy. Okay? I, I mean, uh, don't, don't think, uh, you know, sugar is the bad guy. You need that glucose. You need it to run. You, but if it can't get in your cells, that's when it stays in your bloodstream. And that's when it raises your blood sugar and you have all those problems. Insulin is supposed to be the key that helps the sugar get into your cell, helps the glucose get into your cell. 
but it doesn't work properly if your cell is full of fat. So get rid of the saturated fat and you can get help to get rid of the diabetes and all these other problems. My name is Vegan Chris. Thanks for watching. And guys, listen, I'm not perfect. I just do my best. Okay, and I just try to read and and get, you know, and stay informed. And um, I can't help but do that. And then I just share that information with whoever's willing to listen. Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll definitely keep them coming.